Okay, so we're gonna learn how to calculate um, the vitamin C lab, which is a redox experiment. So what's actually happening here is you have ascorbic acid. Um, it's gonna be a clear solution. We know the molarity of it, and you'll use exactly 25 mils of it, and you'll titrate it with some sample of iodine. Now, once you do the sample of iodine, you know that the mole ratio of iodine to ascorbic acid is going to be one to one here. So once you use these two values here to get um, moles of ascorbic acid, that is the same mole of iodine. Take the moles of iodine divided by the volume of iodine, you should get the molarity of iodine. So um, you get for two of these trials here, you get um, um, average. And this average you use to calculate something else. So, this, once you solve for the iodine here, you actually titrate the iodine again, this time with apple juice. So basically you're doing like a bunch of titrations. Um, in your data, it's going to look different. Your data actually has three trials. Molarities will be different. The and uh, the volume here is the same though because we are supposed to use exactly 25 using the volumetric pipette. Um, so just keep in mind these numbers are gonna be different, but um, it's a good example to help you calculate stuff. Okay, so once you find a molarity in iodine, what you're gonna do is you titrate with some apple juice, usually it's apple juice, sometimes they use other juice, but apple juice is cool, okay? So we'll have apple juice, um, which is a commercial sample, we take 25 mils of it and you titrate with iodine. So what you have here is you know exactly 25 mil, and you have your iodine here. Once you have your iodine volume, you multiply, you work it with the molarity of the iodine, and you divide it by the volume of the apple juice, you will be able to get the um, molarity of your apple juice. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm probably just gonna do trial one and give you the averages and then we can um, go from there. So the first thing is um, we have to get um, the volume of iodine used. So you just take final minus initial. So in this case, obviously it's minus um, 49.70 mils because it starts at zero. So I'll go ahead and do this one. This is 52.72 mils. Okay, the molarity iodine we have to calculate. So how do you calculate it? So you go, um, the first thing is you need to get moles of ascorbic acid. So you take 25 mils divided by 1,000. Uh, so go ahead and convert it. One liter is 1,000 mils, okay? 25 mils of ascorbic acid and the molarity of ascorbic acid is, so I'll just write eight here, um, 0 0.00, 0 0.00, 0 0.00, 0 0.00, moles of AA divided by one liter. That's my molar molarity right there. And then I know moles of AA and moles of iodine is one to one. So one mole of AA ascorbic acid is one mole of iodine. I can get moles of iodine here, okay? So moles of iodine is literally just whatever that is. And you end up getting for trial one, um, 0 0.0001218 moles of I2. Now you take your moles of I2 and you divide it by the volume, which is 49.7, right? So I'll just work it out here. So 0 0.00, 0, 1, 2, 1, 8 moles of iodine divided by the volume, which is final minus initial. And then you gotta make sure you use it in liters, okay? So 49.70 divided by 1,000, so you get 0 0.04972, okay? And that should give you your molarity of iodine. So the first one, you get uh, 0.002451 molarity. Keep in mind, this is very different numbers from the ones that you have, but basically that's my first number. So pretty simple, right? And then you do the same thing for trial two, okay? So for trial two, what's different? The moles literally stay the same for that one, right? Because you use the same volume, okay? You use the exact same volume, but then your titration is a little bit different. So the moles stay the same, and then you divide by that new volume. Instead of 49.7, you do 52.72, you get a different number for your molarity. And in that case here, we get 0 0.002310. Okay, so take these two, add up and divide by two, you get your average. 
um, your average in this case is 0 0.002381. Okay, now that number here transfers over to this table right here. Okay, so it's 0. Point, what was it? 002381. Okay, now then the next part comes into play. Now here's where the mistake happens. Everyone likes to follow the same method and calculate the exactly the same way here. You can't do that because you're kind of doing the opposite. The first thing is earlier you used ascorbic acid and the volume of ascorbic acid and the molarity of ascorbic acid, correct? And then you divide it by, you know, the multiple iodine and ascorbic acid, and you divide it by the volume of iodine. Now the bottom here is worked differently. It's actually kind of the opposite because look, this is apple juice, this is ascorbic acid, this is iodine. You can't multiply that and that. Like that doesn't work. It's not the same thing. What you do is you take the iodine, multiply it with the volume of the iodine. So remember, iodine and iodine together, um, take the volume and the molarity, get the moles of iodine, and then you get that's the same as the moles of ascorbic acid and apple juice. Then you divide it by the 25. So it's opposite values. People like to do the same thing and get the wrong answers. It's very, very common to say, please, please avoid this, okay? So the next part I wanna show you, so obviously the volume here is 44.15, and this one is 43.45, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do the math here. So we take, remember, molarity iodine, volume iodine. So 44.15 mils, change it to liters, And then molarity is 0.002381. This is iodine to one, one liter. One mole of iodine is one mole ascorbic acid in apple juice. Okay? So you get your moles here. In this case, um, we get moles of um, 44.15. This one you get 0. 0.001051 moles of A. This is an ascorbic acid in an apple juice sample. Okay? So once you have that, let's see, I'm zooming a little bit here so I can get easier to see. So once you have that, you take that moles of AA, divide it by the volume in liters. So the molarity of AA in apple juice would be 0. 0.001051 moles of apple juice stuff over 0 0.02500 liters because that's the volume this time. So it's just a little bit different. Just, you know, I guess it's so simple that people just thought they, were, they just want to do the same method. Just remember the first part and the second part, you always have to remember to match the molarity of the sample to the volume of the sample. Don't do these two together. That's wrong. Okay. So once you have that, that should give us the answer of, um, in this case, 0 0.004204 molarity of ascorbic acid in our apple juice. Um, what gets we call apple juice a commercial sample? Apple juice is cooler. Okay, so that goes right here. And then you do the same for trial two, and then you get the average. So in your case, your sample, you actually have three trials, okay? So you're gonna have to do trial one, trial two, trial three, take an average, take the average value, plug it into over here, okay? So basically you'll have three values up here. One, two, three, average goes here, plug it back in the front page right here. Okay, so hope that helps. It's a very simple experiment, simple calculation. Um, just a small little trick here. Just make sure you guys don't forget the second part is different from the first part.